Hey, you guys, thanks for listening in to this episode of Tips with Teen. On today, I have Ms. Sheila with us. Hey, Ms. Sheila, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for being a guest on the show. So tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do. Yeah, I am a personal development coach. Got my certification in 2018. And um, my business is called Live Out Loud Coaching. And uh, I think I started it. I was trying to figure out what to do. And um, I had lost my husband in 2012. And that was quite a healing journey for me. So through that, I realized how to how to be on my own and what to do. And I under, finally understood what empowerment meant. And I realized that that is something I could share with other people, everything I've learned about that, about being on your own and what I call how to be a badass so you can create the life you want. And that's what my business is all about, is helping people create the life that they really want, no matter what age they are, no matter what what's happening in their life. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you was able to heal from that. And now you have your own business. Um, so you were saying we have like the power to create our own life. So what is the power to create our own life? Because a lot of people don't really understand. Right. Yeah, um, exactly. And and there's so many things we don't have control over. Uh, but, you know, we have the power to choose. Now, a lot of things out there maybe there, there aren't things we can choose, but we have the power to choose certain things and we carry this with us. So we can choose our mood. We can choose when we wake up in the morning, how we want to feel before our day starts. Mm -hmm. We can choose um, to set an intention or not. We can choose that. We can choose, are we going to get angry at our boss or not? Are we going to mm -hmm. ha have a bad day or not? So we we have that. We let that go. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's sort of we let life happen to us and we do we have that power we can choose. So I think that's the beginning of creating your life. Yeah, it really is. Um, Since that is the beginning, like how can we now be able to tap into the power of creating our own life? Well, I think it starts with deciding. Mm -hmm. uh, not wishing, not wanting, not hoping, not daydreaming, but really deciding, you know, who we want to be and how we want to live our life. And that's kind of hard because, you know, you have to have responsibility then for your life. You know, that decision is a tough one to commit to that. But once we decide, then we could set the intention that that starts everything deciding, okay, this is who I want to be. This is how I want to show up. And this is the promise I'm making to myself day by day. And it's a practice day by day. You don't have to look at it like the year or resolution, just day by day, make that promise of how I want to live, how I want to show up. And that's how I believe we'd start to tap into it. Yeah. Um, and I also believe too, when we start to really tap into our own power, um, we have to learn how to break bad habits. Um, so can you give us, um, examples or tell us ways on how we can break the bad habits so we really can tap into our power such as like people pleasing and self-sabotaging because those are the most common things that we see. Yeah. Um, and I believe that everything, I hate this word practice because when you're a kid, you know, your parents make you practice, whatever it is, but really is practice because we've gone through life, let's say people pleasing let's say we're a people pleaser. And so we definitely have to practice something else. What do we replace that with? And I always say, you know, for anybody who's a people pleaser to say to that person, I love you, but I love me more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it's not about not helping people or being kind to people or doing things for people. Of course, we want to be beautiful people. We want to be kind. We want to be generous. We want to help, but not at the expense of our own happiness. And it, it's kind of like saying you're more important than me. Mm -hmm. And we have to break that habit of thinking somebody else is more important than we are. Mm -hmm. We're putting them on a pedestal. We're important. We have value. Yes, and yes. that's also setting boundaries. You know, you set a boundary. What you're saying is I value me. And when you value yourself, guess what? Other people do as well. Mm -hmm. When it comes to self-sabotage, uh, that's a big one because we all have our gremlins. And what we need to learn to practice with that is listening to our gut. A lot of the times people won't really listen to their gut it's more like well i'm not really sure is that what i should do yes always listen to your gut 
rather than listening to your gremlin. Your gremlin is there to protect you. Your gremlin is there to say, don't leave the comfy couch. Don't go out of your comfort zone. Don't do that. Don't say that. Don't want that. But you have to follow your gut. And that's that prevents self-sabotage. And again, it's a practice. Yeah, it really is a practice. I know you gave one example, um, like when it came to people pleasing, putting ourselves first. So what are other things that we can do to put ourselves first to take better care of ourselves? Well, I mean, I think we have to um, believe that we have purpose. Mm -hmm. I think that's so important. Um, I always say, um, one of my Sheila-isms is, uh, is we have not been put here to just take up space. Mm -hmm. People do not realize how amazing they are and how unique they are and about their talents and their gifts. Sometimes they think if they don't do something extraordinary or save the world that they don't have anything to offer. Oh my God, everyone has so much, per you wouldn't be here if you didn't have a purpose. Mm -hmm. You're here and that is the reason you have a purpose. Mm -hmm. And to be so thankful for the most important person you know, and that's you. And it starts from that. It starts from ourselves. And people just don't believe that they count mm -hmm. and that they have unique things to bring. I always say, what do you bring to the party? Because I don't care if you are the same as 20 other people, you do the same job. I don't care what it is. You are never going to be the same. You have your own history. You have your own story. You have your own background. You have your own challenges and successes. You are so unique. People just don't realize that they have a purpose and it's time for everybody to realize it and to embrace that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, like the beauty for me is once you realize your purpose, embrace your purpose. Um, Everybody has different gifts. Embrace those gifts because those things are a part of you. And once you do that and you embrace your purpose, your gifts, you will find so much peace. And I had to learn that about myself because at first I was kind of like fighting against it or, you know, I didn't really understand it. But once I decided to embrace it, like I, the peace came for me. <laughs> and you know what else? It unfolds because you may start doing something. You may not be sure, but it will unfold and it will take you in the direction you're supposed to be in. And you'll grow and you'll evolve what you're supposed to. But everybody starts with something and then that just blossoms out. We just have to believe in ourselves. You know, when we're adults, we don't have anybody cheerleading us. We have to be our own cheerleaders. We yeah. have to believe in ourselves mm -hmm. with complete certainty. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Sheila, for being a guest on the show. So I'm going to share your social media handles. Tell our listeners how they can get in contact with you if they would like to render any of your services. Yeah, um, they can find me on my website and that is called liveoutloudcoaching.com. And uh, they can also find some books. Uh, they can find the books I've written on my website or they can go to Amazon and find some books I've written, which are called My Badass Journal, My Badass Gratitude Journal, and um, the little book of badass feelings. So, but my website is probably the best place to find me, liveoutloudcoaching.com. Okay. And um, you guys make sure you go to Amazon and look up her books. And I will definitely put the links to her books in the show notes on this episode um, on Anchor. So y'all guys can find them. And if you guys want to get in contact with me, Y'all can do so. My number is 910-317-0396. You can shoot me an email at contact at mjfinancial.biz. You can schedule a consultation at www.mjfinancial.biz. You can find this episode on Anchor, you guys, and you can also find the video for the playback of this interview on the YouTube channel for MJ Financial Management as well. So thank you so much, Ms. Sheila, for being a guest on the show today. I highly appreciate you. Thank you so much. I, I This was great. I loved it. I loved your questions. I hope that our listeners will get something from it. I just love sharing everything I know with everybody. So yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. Well, thank you once again. And all right, you guys, we will see you on the next episode of Tips with Tea.